We have live team coverage of developments happening right now in the area. Our Justin Andrews is in St. Charles, where we are learning more about an alarming number of COVID-19 cases at Center Point Hospital. And Alyssa Toomey is in Florissant, where families are lining up for help with food as thousands are out of work right now. We begin our team coverage with Justin Andrews. Good afternoon, Clara. A woman says her niece was notified about one case of COVID-19 here at Center Point. Now there are 18 people infected and she fears her niece could have this deadly virus. I'm not taking this seriously and it puts a big, huge fear. Over FaceTime, Lisa Colson says her 19 year old niece is scared and she is too. Late morning, Monday, News 4 got word that 15 staff members and three patients here at Center Point is infected with COVID-19, and the hospital has no clue of the original source. In my opinion, when they knew this, this one case on her wing on Friday and they informed her of this, my opinion is that whole wing should have been, you know, quarantined. Colson is so glad they were notified, but can't understand how that one case jumped to 18. When they asked the hospital about it, she says they said this. You don't have anything to worry about. There was one person that tested positive. Just keep an eye. And it's not really don't worry about. It's, it's something that even as a health care provider, they need to take seriously. The hospital has eliminated visitation, taking temperatures of staff and vendors and giving PPEs to workers. Right now, the facility is no longer taking new patients. This whole epidemic is not fair at all, and it, it doesn't choose who to go to. Now, I put in a call to the hospital this afternoon and also this morning, and I'm waiting on a call back because we wanted to get this woman some answers and learn more details about these COVID cases here at the hospital. We do know, though, that the health department here in St. Charles is working to notify anyone who may have been exposed inside this hospital. We're live in St. Charles. I'm Justin Andrews, News 4. We continue our